I think that what uh, people will be able to see, it's a few things. It's, one is the ability to complete kind of the, the attack surface in terms of the ability to protect it, all the way from preventing from running on a single endpoint, all the way from a, a regular threats to a fileless attack, to ransomware, to even more sophisticated thing. And then the ability to correlate it and to move from the passive approach of trying just to block everything to the proactive approach of hunting across multiple endpoints. We call it the AI hunting. And from now we see kind of a tremendous success in order to find the hackers and basically to answer a very, very simple, sing, simple question. Are you under attack right now? And there is an adversary working in my environment. What we see in Threat Intel, it's like, it's still important, but because of most of our customer cannot hire the right people in order to consume Threat Intel, analyze it, process it, and move it from Threat Intel to actionable uh, intelligence, that's the reason that what we do, we basically took it as part of the big data approach that we are taking, consume this information in real time, analyze it, and basically automating the whole process for our customer benefits. Our customers right now and the buyers are understand that they need to protect themselves and they need to move from the passive approach to the proactive approach. Uh, that's part of the reason that we're growing right now in a very, very aggressive way all over the world. Uh, in order to do that in an effective manner and to be able to serve our customers, we need our partner community to be part of us. And from the beginning of the year, once we started to push it, we see kind of a tremendous success all over the world, not just here in the U.S.